be seated. Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to be reading from Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great his love is for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed, he remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass, they flourish like the flower of the field. The wind blows over and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children. With those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts, the Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his biddings, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. So those of you who know the Johnson family know that um, pictures and videos are a big part of the life of this family. <laughs> Some of you laugh because you've been in several of them. And uh, I'd like to draw your attention now to the screens. We've got a, a video tribute uh, to Margaret, and you'll hear her speaking. Good morning. This is Maggie G with her fitness for today. So first of all, you put on your gloves one at a time, get in pop position, and then whambo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five and one more time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Time out. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it this morning. Come back tomorrow for the second lesson. We've already started this, everybody. So I'm glad you could join us, even though it's at a late, to later date. We have the butter mixture in with the sugar. We creamed it very well. As a matter of fact, we really creamed it too well. So now we're adding four cups of flour. Unfortunately, it's not organic flour. And, uh, but that's okay, it'll be so warm. In the meantime, we want this to crumble because it's a crumble Christmas cookie, which is one of the best crumble Christmas, Christmas cookies on the market. Hold everything because we're going to get ready for the next step. <laughs> we'll let that work its way in. Okay, we're going to let it work its way in. <laughs> and while it's working its way in, we'll just nibble out a few candies. <laughs> we don't want to get hungry. And in the, the case it takes too long, we have a supply ready. To eat with because you can get hungry when you're baking a lot of goodies like we're doing today. Look at this, we've already finished this. <laughs> I want you to notice how we've done this. We work very hard to make the pretzels from scratch. Just here's a piece broken off and you can taste it. Oh, and this is the egg mixture and then into the coconut. But make sure you get enough energy. How many you have enough, Mom? They're little. Right. So glad you invited me over for demonstration. Oh, I'm doing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what you did. 
And we're going to dip it in the egg white, lightly dip it in the egg white, and then from there we're going to put it into coconut. And this is going to be an amazing recipe. This is one of the best cookie, magic cookie rep recipes of, this, of the year. The cookie for 218. If any of you want the secret ingredients, you just call, call uh, my, my granddaughter, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. And her phone number is. <laughs> <laughs> then you put your thumb and you put it in the middle. Yep. And that's where we put our jam. jam. And we, before we put it in the oven. important. Don't make them too big. Make sure you don't make them too big, class, because uh, we want them to mouth. go around. We've got a whole army of feet. They have to go in your mouth, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where else were they supposed to go? Oh, they have to fit in your mouth. Here's our, our neat little ball. balls of book. <laughs> <laughs> and, and dip them in the egg mixture and then into the coconut. So we'll come back shortly. And if we don't get a million hits on this thing, I'm crazy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Try to think the next step. The next step is to take them out of the oven. So what we do is we first of all put out our heavy little belt uh, bit. And then we lift them out of the oven. Here they are. <laughs> We've already lifted them up. Can you have a look at them now? And they look very, very tempting. I think maybe we'll go into business and sell these. They're so easy to make. It only took us two hours instead of 20 minutes, but they're really worth it. And they're, once you uh, taste them, you'll understand what we're talking about. So keep in mind that these are a prize-winning recipe on a prize-winning cookie sheet. And we're signing off for now. And don't forget, you can call Sarah if you want the recipe. Thank you so much for enjoying this with us. It's been great. Thank you. Hey, Mom, we're here today to have you share some of your story with us. Delighted to do that. Awesome. I've had an adventurous life. I'm very, very thankful and uh, would love to share it. Okay, awesome. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your faith journey from the time you were a young girl? Well, I, I can't remember a time in my life when I ever felt close to God. Um, whether I was looking for something and couldn't find it and I would check in with Him or just talking to Him during school times. But I've been filled with good blessed. I went to a little Baptist Sunday school in Guelph. And uh, I remember many precious times from them, then learning about Jesus and, and inviting kids to Sunday schools. I remember running up and down the streets inviting people to Sunday school because they used to have a, like a clothesline at the front of the church and we used to sing, I will make you fishers of men. So whenever you brought someone to, to Sunday school, you would get a fish put on the clothesline. What they did with that, not sure, but I remember I liked to give them prizes. That's awesome. Okay, so tell me about a time when you, like you said, you grew up in the Anglican Church. So you would go to, what kind of programs did they have for you there? Uh, I was a little older. I went to the Baptist Sunday School first, got a great grounding. I didn't realize how great the Word of God and, and uh, Bible verses. And then um, my mother had gone to an Anglican Church, thought maybe we should go to the Anglican Church. Went to St. Patrick's Anglican Church in Guelph. And a uh, lovely little church. I remember singing in the choir, running the youth parties, um, raising money for the missions. And I taught, taught, taught Sunday school. Awesome. So it was a special time until I was about 15, and then we moved to Toronto. Moved to Toronto, okay. So when did you go to a youth group camp and stuff, or youth group? Okay, we moved to Toronto, and I got a job at Arena Indians. One of the gals in the uh, office, her name was Patricia Thompson. I just found a letter from her from way back then. When, and she went to Nazarene Church and she, they were at a young people's retreat. So she invited me to come to the young people's retreat with her, with her and about 250 other young people. And it was on by a river near Lake Simcoe. Town it was close to, and I remember 